My Peterborough United career mode and I'm gonna talk about something a little different this particular episode just do the fact for some reason my gameplay is so laggy at the moment there's not much I can do so I'm gonna be kind of talking a little bit about FIFA 15 I want to know your personal opinions on it hopefully you all enjoy the video in the background there's a lot of stuff going on honestly transfer deadline date is just open so we are looking actually no is it open not yet no it's not actually it's not actually open yet it opens next episode um but we do look into some players and also a squad report as well we kind of look into more against pedersen uh some of you may be wondering why would you go for a player like this he is 73 rated in all fairness and i have to say the guy's still quality he has a beast left foot and if we could have a 73 rated player in our team he would absolutely be amazing for our side but uh, guys before i go ahead make sure you drop the video like will be very highly appreciated and don't forget to show your support by following on Twitter and dropping video like and stuff. I should have said that before I said drop the video like. But comment on this, guys. I want to know your opinion on FIFA 15. I'm going to be talking about it a little bit. Um, so FIFA 15, I'll have to say, is quite a vast improvement compared to FIFA 14. First, I think it's gone kind of back to um, FIFA 13. And FIFA 13, I really, really enjoy. It's one of my favorite FIFAs. Um, probably up there with FIFA 09. Or, no, actually, FIFA 10, I would say. Probably up there with. And it was just an amazing, uh, amazing uh, gameplay back on FIFA 9 and stuff like that. But FIFA 15, I probably think, personally, is up there with it. Um, we unfortunately do end up going 1-0 down against Notts County. But uh, let me know, what do you think of the gameplay? Is the gameplay an improvement from last FIFA? Like, you, I'll have to say one thing, though, that uh, the gameplay is very much based on pace. If you've got pace, you are honestly brilliant. Like, you don't even have to have a lot of pace. That's the thing, like you could like Griffiths only has sixty nine pace, so that's overall second half now as well. He does only have sixty nine pace, which is a combined of sprint speed and acceleration. And he still obliterates every single person that goes past. Actually, tell her, he might have gone up now. He might have grown a little bit. But anyway, we can see this absolute abysmal goal goes for the legs of the goal. You couldn't believe it. Two 0 down. It looks like a dead and buried match. Um, but the thing is, is that with um. Uh, what do you call it? FIFA 15. Compl oh, I'm losing my track. I've completely lost track of what I just said. I'm not just sure what I've just said about FIFA 15. I was talking about this gameplay. I'm like, oh, what the hell does that happen? Anyway, the ball comes off the bar there. That was close. But we're 2-0 down. And we do end up losing that game 2-0. How unfortunate can that be? Um, disappointing result. Absolute friggin' awful. Our form is dropping a lot lately. And we're still trying to get automatic promotion. But it just doesn't seem to be there for us at the moment. But, uh... Anyway, like, with FIFA 15, I really enjoy it, and I did give a rating on Battle of the Net the other night. I think this was uh, Friday, Thursday night. And I did give it a solid 8, and I was still stick by that, like, from a career mode perspective. But, uh, as well, they won 2.2 million for pairs, and I think we can actually get them cheaper than that. Um, I do request some funds, but you find more about that in the next episode. Um, but the thing is, for my experience so far on FIFA 15, right... The solid 8 that I give. Actually, give me a rating in the comments below. The gameplay is perfect, in my opinion. Um, everything about it is improved. Like, the ability to shoot has improved, in my opinion. It isn't that easy. Like, you do, do have to think about what you're actually doing, which I personally like. And then we do end up going 1 0 down against Bradford, which is no surprise. They're probably one of the best sides in the league. Um, but, which is, um, I quite like the fact that you've got to sort out your positioning before you shoot. Like, Certain so shots do surprise you that they actually go in, but it's I really like it. And the thing is, shots are very, very random. Like I have not scored the same shot twice in all fairness. I have not actually done that, um, which is good, and it brings variety to FIFA 15. And um, with that variety, it kind of ma it makes me want to play it more, right? Um, I always want to play FIFA. FIFA is like my favorite game anyway, but. It does make me want to play more for the fact I'm not just scoring the same goals over and over again. Like, like for example, this goal was absolutely amazing. Um, and it was different. And you're not guaranteed to score that goal all the time as well, which I think is good. Like, you're not guaranteed to do it. And um, one thing we mentioned on the podcast was the, um, 
the fact that you can tell the difference between good players and bad players. Um, for example, I've been playing with Barcelona recently, and uh, I know you can tell they're Barcelona, and you know for a fact they're good players. And like for example, with all my team, if you are using a 90 rated player, you can tell for a fact it's a 90 rated player, and I really like that this year. Like I remember back in old FIFA, you could use a bronze player, and like as cool it was to use bronze players and make them good. It was kind of irritating that a bronze player could be better than a gold player. So if you are 64 rated, a 78 rated player is going to be better than you. Uh, no matter what, obviously with certain attributes you could be beat them at. For example, strength and you're thinking something's really weak. You could do that, but the overall player will do a lot better. Barnet there with man of the match, just so you know. Not exactly looking good with our form at the moment. Um, it's not with the leagues. I'll quick look at the league. We're currently in 5th place, uh, 38 points. And you see how close it is. I mean, literally, the league is ridiculously close. I think 18th place have 30 points. That's 7 points clear. And all they got to do is pick up a couple of points and we're back in the relegation zone. It's mad, in all fairness. Everyone's winning, everyone's losing. Um, but uh, that's what I like about this league. And that's what I've always liked about the championship. The fact that it's really, really close. And uh, all your championships, uh, not championship, like uh, football league, lower league, championship, league one, league two, they're always pretty close. But we do end up changing the formation. Um... So a little change in personnel. So personally, I think that the 4-4-2 that wasn't working now. There was something that's been changed, and uh, I've noticed that within FIFA that you can't really stick to just one formation. This might just be me, but I can't seem to just stick to one formation and play with it throughout the whole FIFA 15. I've changed two formations already, going on to my third, and I can't seem to find that perfect formation. Like. It's perfect for a few games. I lose a game, or I lose two games in a row, and then I have to change. That's what normally happens. Like there's something about my playing style which doesn't work. And uh, actually, the transfer window actually opens now, and uh, we are in fifth place with 38 points, and uh, Late Orient down in tenth place. Um, but uh, as I was mentioning, that um, the formation thing has to change. I have to change every few games. I don't know if you guys are like. Actually, let me know in the comments below your favorite formation. And uh, while you're down here, guys, make sure you like the like and also let me your official rating. What rating would you give FIFA 15 out of 10? Um, but uh, what I was saying is that um, I have to change formations every couple of games or so. Like, we have played quite a lot of games with the 4 4 2. And uh, the reason I actually changed that is because I think Barnett um, actually did pretty well up front, so I kind of wanted to put two in. Griffiths wasn't being utilised up front on his own enough, so we kind of said, you know what, we'll chuck two up front. And. Obviously, with recent injuries, it is actually logical to uh, play with one at front because Vassell um, and Washington are both injured and are out for at least a few months. But when he comes off the bar there, that was close. Uh, very, very close, actually, I have to say. Um, but uh, 64 minutes in, and we are 1 0 down against Leighton Orient. It's not looking good, watch there. The ball comes whipping in. We try to get rid of it. But anyway, look at this first shot. It's Smith. Is this your play of the day? What a finish! But it did take a deflection on the way. I was kind of like, what? what the hell? No way in the world that did that curve. Um, but it did, and uh, I was massively surprised. Um, but you've got to love those goals. That's what I mean. Like you, I won't score that again for a while. It's ve not very often that I will score that goal. It did take a deflection, of course, but the curve on it was just insane. Absolute amazing shot. But then straight after, Griffiths, literally with the back of his head, scores a goal. And I've been using the... Uh, rush near post uh, tactic lately and it's been working an absolute treat and uh, guys we are coming to the closing stages of the episode so I want to say thank you very much for watching hope you all enjoyed the video so if you haven't yet make sure you drop the video a like we'll be highly appreciated Let's try and get 200 likes and if you want to check out any other videos they are in the description below so we turn a 1-0 deficit to a 2-1 win and uh, we changed formation so it's looking good after we change the formation transfer window opens next episode we want to say thank you very much for joining Taylor got man of the match with a 7.3 we changed to the 4-2-4 to destroy him and guys my name is Rosh and I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>